something slightly different for us. Yeah, for something us, really it? different yeah. and kind of yeah. nice. Well, tonight we go back into film history to look at some classics. This weekend, two of San Francisco's great revival houses, the Castro Theater and the Roxy Cinema, are launching strong programs. First up is something you've probably heard about so much that you're dizzy already. Uh, you, you like that? Uh, it's a newly <laughs> restored print of uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. Here we go. James Stewart stars in Alfred Hitchcock's tale of romantic obsession as a San Francisco private eye who is plagued by a fear of heights. Ah, well, it's a cinch. Yeah, I look up, I look down. I look up, I look down. <laughs> Now, if you watch real closely, you might recognize some locations in Vertigo. That's Kim Novak there, who just went into the water. Stuart gets dizzy and falls for her in a big way, too. You better come over here by the fire where it's warm. Vertigo is too complex to be tossed off in a few sentences. If you've seen it, you know that, and if you haven't, you're in for a treat. I do want to show you something about this restoration. This was printed from the restored negative, well, you fell into San Francisco Bay. And this was printed before restoration. What am I doing here? What happened? Well, you fell into San Francisco Bay. But if you saw Vertigo 10 or 12 years ago from a print made before that negative went bad, you know that it looked great then too. So this restoration is a good thing, but it isn't the once in a generation occasion that it's being cracked up to be. Anyway, Vertigo opens at the Castro tomorrow night and it runs for three weeks. The other revival is at the Roxy Cinema. I mentioned this earlier in the week, but it bears repeating. This is a three-day festival devoted to film history's best-kept secret, a great American director named Monta Bell. Make no mistake, this festival of Bell Films is the most important revival, not just this week, but of 1996. It features some of the best silent films you'll ever see. This is Upstage from 1926. Oh, please have a little pity. And it also features the deliriously nasty talkie downstairs with John Gilbert as a slick opportunist. I've got plenty of money to spend. We'll spend it like kings. I'm going to make you happy. That's so big money. Well, what do you care? I'm going to spend it on you. What really excites me about this Bell Festival is that it's a true revival, and as in bringing back something from the dead. These are movies that nobody's seen. They turn out to be wonderful. I was, I was there, I saw After Midnight today, and uh, it's, it's not elitist or nostalgic. It's just great movies. Oh, they both look like And them. I love the Hitchcock. Worth making the trip. And the Hitchcock oh, yeah. is great, yeah. too, but next week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mick, thanks, and uh, we will be right back. Mick's Picks brought to you.